What's up, U.S. Soccer fans? Welcome to this special edition of U.S. Soccer Blog. I'm your host, Alvatar. This is my brother, Nihal. And after much talk of Matt Beasler moving to another club, he decides to see in Kansas City. First impression. Um, well, I can't say it wasn't unexpected. Um, you know, he said he wanted to stay. He's always loved Kansas, Kansas City. Um, he's been described as a homebody by many people. And also, as a part of that, Graham Zussi, Graham Zussi signed a long-term deal. Both signed a deal through 2018, so through the world, next World Cup. Um, they're 27 years old, so it's not like they're young, upcoming talent. Um, so it's not as surprising um, as many might think that he stayed. Uh, he's getting a lot of money. They're both DP players now. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting. It's good for MLS. It's good to retain that talent, right? Mm -hmm. Especially, it looks like Yedlin will be moving, so... It's good that they can retain that talent. Great for Kansas City. Great for MLS. We'll see what it means for U.S. soccer. Right, so talking about U.S. soccer, do you think this will stun either of their growth at all? Do you think this will affect how they get well, better I, as a player? I think you saw Matt Beasler was fantastic in the World Cup. I, and he's played in MLS his whole career. I do. Th I mean, personally, I would have liked him to move, maybe test the waters at a Sunderland. But the thing about Kansas City is he's, t he's guaranteed a starting job. He's one of the stars of MLS. He's one of the most marketable players in MLS. Um, and, I mean, he's a defender, but he's still marketable. So is Zussi. You see him on that Continental Tires commercial. <laughs> um, but, you know, I don't, I don't think it'll stunt their growth. I think they've already proven what they can do at the international stage, um, especially Beasler. Zussi... I don't know. I don't think Zussi will be in the starting 11 next World Cup. I think Beasler definitely could be. Um, I don't think he'll start the growth. Beasler was one of the best center backs in the competition. Giancarlo Gonzalez was one of the best center backs in the competition. And he's an MLS player as well. So, for Costa Rica. For Costa Rica. Um, so, no, I don't think it'll stunt, I don't think it'll stunt his growth. Um, but kind do, of, do you I think kind he of, has a lot of room to grow? Or? Would you say this if he was more promising of a player? Well, I think if he was three years younger, it'd be a no-brainer to go to Europe. Mm -hmm. But like I said, he's 27 years old, so, you know, it doesn't really make sense to go to Europe and fight for that starting job. Maybe fight to stay in the Premier League when he can stay with a champion, perennial championship contender in Sporting Kansas City. Uh, play where he grew up. Uh, make just as much money with a DP contract and, you know, be a star. So, I mean, he's a, he's a human being. It makes sense. Um, I, I do want to see Edlin move, though. I know that's t something totally different. but um, I, I mean, I don't, he, uh, does he have room to grow? I don't know. <laughs> I can't really answer that question. But, yeah. um, you know, I, I think, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense for him to stay in MLS. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Good for him getting that DP contract, he definitely deserves it. Of course this is not a regular U.S. soccer blog, but, you know, why not throw in what happened with Yedlin over the last week. And DeAndre Yedlin was in big talks with Roma. A lot of people thought it was already a done deal, but now, according to Greg Seltzer, um, the deal is dead because he didn't want to go on loan to Seattle or stay in Seattle for the rest of the year. And he wanted to go to Europe right away. Mm. So, so, I mean, I'm wondering why Roma can't send him to Genoa on loan for the full season. But uh, Inter, Napoli, and... Inter, Napoli were... Who's the other? The team that was said to be in the race. Yeah. Olympic Lyon, right. uh, they, they were in the race, but they just bought a right back, so I think that's kind of over. Yeah. But Well, you know, we talked a lot about Yedlin, especially in our last episode as well. Um, I think he'll move. Um, hopefully he'll move. Because he's got a lot of upside. Um, he's another really marketable player, so it, it'll be really great for MLS if they can keep him. But it looks like Seattle Sounders might be lining up a, lining up another DP. So that might be from the money, the allocation money they get from selling Yedlin. So we'll see. Um, I don't want to talk too much about Yedlin. Uh, we'll obviously have a video if he signs a long-term contract or if he moves. He's making $60,000 a year, which is nothing for a professional soccer player, especially of his caliber. 
Um, so we'll see. He wants to move, and he wants to move now. Um, yeah. Yes, um, like you said, if anything happens to Yedlin, we'll update you on that right away. Um, this will conclude our special edition of U.S. Soccer Blog. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit the dislike button if you did not enjoy this video. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.